Hello everybody, this is Mark Williams again on my channel. This time we're not talking about health stuff, we're going to talk about car stuff. So this is my next project. It is a 2009 XF Jaguar and um, I've always actually wanted an XF Jaguar and I think I got a pretty good deal. The price reveal will probably be in the next video that I do about this car. but. This is what I've done so far. Uh, the owner of this car said that it was overheating. And I know with Jaguars, they have, that's the fan that's on there right now because, okay, let me explain. Jaguars have an auxiliary water pump that goes through uh, where like uh, the HVAC system goes and it has an actual water pump that goes on a pulley of the engine. Let me see if I can um, move this fan out of the way and show you. Because I've already kind of started working on it. Okay. Started working on it. Okay. So, let's show you. Now, you're probably like, where is everything? Okay. So, the pulley there. Let me see if I can point that out to you. I'm holding the hood of the car because... This is the pulley for the water pump. This pulley sits right on the water pump. I took out the water pump. The water pump has, this water pump has um, metal, metal fins, which is actually the best uh, water pump version to get because the ones that had the plastic fins would usually fail um, oft. So that has been um that's already the metal fin so i was like i was looking for a leak because when i started the car it started to leak and um yeah the owner of the car at the time said it was overheating i turned it on it turns on well check the oil there's no there's no water in the oil and there's no oil in the coolant so the engine is still good um the engine runs pretty well just needs an oil change but i'm, I'm going to take care of the oil change Probably after I verify that everything is good. Oh, look, there's, there's something I left unplugged. It's right here. This is probably, this is for the throttle body. Let's see here. Is it this way or this way? Yes, this way. Get that in there. Okay. All right. So, um, the reason why the fan is out. I had to stick to wedge it because I didn't want to destroy the fan. But the reason why the fan is out is because, um, because I w I turned on the car, and I noticed there was a there was a big leak. I could actually see it. And if I just want to turn the camera around here, the radiator has uh, two holes. There's a one big hole right there. I have to kind of point it out to you here. There's a big hole right here. It's a big hole. And there's a leak all the way going down. The radiator is leaking really bad. Ugh. So I had to purchase another radiator. And, um, I purchased it on eBay. And I'm still waiting for it. I purchased it on Monday. This Is it Monday or Sunday? I purchased it on Sunday about... Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I purchased it about five days ago. It's still not here. That's that's one of the things I don't like about... I, I, I should have gotten it on Amazon Prime. It would have been here, like, by Tuesday. But this radiator is bad. And from my understanding, this radiator also... It cools the transmission. And I think I might do... A conversion to where I'll get the I'll get the transmission a cooler a separate transmission cooler and connect those two silver see one and two right there I'll probably do a conversion to where it doesn't have to do that but I don't know maybe I'll just stick to the normal stuff but yeah that's what the fan is out. I have the fan out because I don't want to put it back in knowing that I'm going to have to change it, you know? So let's see. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so, uh, interesting, I see. Okay, so, that's, that's the jinx, that's the, the gist of it. And, um, after we put the radiator in, hopefully, um, and we'll go from there to see what's going on. And, um, we'll diagnose it some more. Hopefully, that's the only thing that's wrong with the engine or the, the cooling system. And then we can go from there, so... Yeah, I'm noticing there's some weird that's like weights on the fan. I wonder if that's supposed to be there. I've never never seen that before on a fan. Well, we shall see. We shall see. All right, guys. Um, I will make another video. Actually, you know, what? let's go around the car. Let me get this stuff. Let's go around the car. I want to show you the inside. Oops, it is these. What's that? Okay, I guess these are supposed to be on here. Some weights. That's weird. I've never seen that before on a, on a fan. I, I've worked with BMWs and all that stuff. I've never ever seen that. But let me put this on here. Don't worry, guys. I have something to wedge up the. I have something to wedge up the end the engine hood. So it doesn't mess anything up. We're going to go inside the car real quick. And we're going to check out the interior. And so we'll go from there. Okay, so let's see. Let's see right here. So basically, let's go inside. And you see that the inside of this car is actually very, very nice. My wife did that. Oh, was that? No, that was my son. My son is the one that made that mess <laughs> it's funny but this car is very clean in the inside look at this it's very very beautiful wood grain um the old jaguar xj8 i actually like those um sorry i'm gonna get rid of this tint in the front this is horrible i mean you can't at night you can't see anything i mean i don't know what they were thinking when they put that on there but anyway Okay, so the car, Jaguar sign is on. Um, oh, it looks like a little crack right here. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. I have to get that out of there. But I guess that's normal. That to be a crack there. I have to get that. I think I can get this fixed. The sun has probably done this. Okay, so. Um, so, yeah, this is the car. The interior, the leather is very nice. Absolutely beautiful leather. I mean, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at all that. The car is clean. The leather, I love this leather. Um, everything still works. Thank God for that. Um, got an aux cable here. Let's see if we can get that. Got an aux cable. Ox access, the purple cable. So yeah, this is the car. I think I have not checked the sunroof, but the sunroof does work. Yep, that's it right there. So very lovely, 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 lovely. Ah, very tempted to keep this car, but I don't know if I'm going to. A little, a few scratches here on the side, but not a big deal. You know, uh, tires are good. The paint is actually pretty good too. Very good paint. So, this is the car, and um, it's a Jaguar XJ, uh, Jaguar XF, 4.2 liter uh, uh, engine. I mean, Ford makes the engine, but this is it's beautiful. All right, guys. If you guys want to suggest any modifications I could do to the car, or anything I could do to the car, any warnings that I need to have regarding this car, oh, looks like I might have to get a tire because this part right here is bad. Any modifications, please let me know. And we will go from there. Please like and subscribe as I begin this project. I'm waiting for the radiator to come. 
and we will go from there okay you guys have a great day bye bye